Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libras for the month of April 2020. Let's get into your reading, Libra. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April. Now, your first card here is the Lover's card, Libra. So a lot of you guys making decisions for this month. Some of you guys getting closer to your partner. For others of you, I do see... If you can see clearly here in this card, it's two people and right at the center at the bottom, there is an apple, right? A representation of temptation. So I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with third party energies or you may be in a relationship that is a bit unfulfilling to you looking or wanting uh, to reach out to someone that is in some way, shape, or form a temptation, obviously, because they're not in this partnership itself. Now, the obstacle, yeah, the three of wands. So I see you guys being in a relationship for the month of April, um, either being in a relationship or walking away from a relationship based off of the fact that you're still clinging on to someone from your past or you're wanting a new start with someone from your past. Now, the past and passing is the Four of Cups being, again, very dissatisfied, not happy, not fulfilled, or not emotionally fulfilled. Now, we do have the Ace of Wands, and this is what's coming towards you. So, a new passion, a new desire, um, waking up and deciding this is what I want, and going for it without any hesitation. With the Ace of Pentacles, uh, you may be dealing with Earth energy. Earth um, would be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For others of you, you may be dealing with uh, fire energy, which would be an Aries, Sagittarius, uh, or Leo. And it could be vice versa. It could be the person that you're currently with and you're wanting to go after an earth energy or you're wanting to go after a fire energy. Although what is crowning you is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is signifying wanting a new beginning or wanting something solid. Now, what's coming before you is the Ten of Pentacles, and this is what is not expected. So again, I do see you guys really, for some of you Libras, I want to say in the past, there was a bit of hesitation in regards to relationships or a partnership. I feel that now you have a clear insight into exactly what it is that you want, and you're going to do what you have to do to get that to manifest for you, even if it comes at a cost of sacrificing or hurting someone, unfortunately, but I feel that you're coming on as, you know, being completely honest. It's almost like your heart is in your sleeve and you're just pouring your heart out to that person, letting them know for some of you guys, you know, hey, I've been, you know, with you. I've been trying to work this relationship out uh, because you do care for the person. But unfortunately, I just haven't been able to move on or perhaps I'm not ready to move on and I see you walking towards or making a new path towards this person from your past um, with the ten of pentacles there is uh, stability here there is a possibility to reconnect to rekindle um, to try to fix this situation or a past situation I should say now your next card here is the eight of pentacles so yeah what they're telling you uh, Libra if you're currently dealing with this situation, now is the time to really put effort in making whatever it is that you want to make happen for yourself. So what I mean by that is with the lover's card, the lover's card always symbolizes being at crossroads. And it's kind of like when the judgment card shows up, it usually indicates like the clock is ticking. You got to make a decision. It's all about stress, right? With the lover's card, it's feeling that, you know, that, that, pressure of like time is of the essence and I need to make a decision but the decision has already been made and I see you guys walking towards wanting to cement or wanting to materialize something that is long term uh, with a past connection um, as I see you guys emotionally checked out from the per from the person that you were dealing with or that you may still be dealing with or this could be vice versa Libra this is a general reading now, your next card is the Queen of Pentacles. So I see a lot of Earth energy here. I see you guys going towards Earth energy, definitely. For the majority of you guys, it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be their sun sign. It could be their moon sign um, as well. But with the Queen of Pentacles, 
the energy that that person is currently feeling or wanting or thinking of you in general with the queen of pentacles they were looking for something solid they're not wasting their time on anything that is not important to them they will not put effort in anything that is not promising for something long term as you know the queen of pentacles is that of longevity it's that of stamina it's that of uh will it's not in the now but what will come in the future so it's almost like cementing um or building i should say so again i do see that this person is still emotionally open to you libra they are still emotionally willing to put that effort if you prove to them that you're willing to commit that you're willing to make it right that you're willing to make amends towards whatever it is that was a discord or a disconnect because if you can see here with the ten of pentacles um you could see here there's a pathway right and that pathway is also here in the ace of pentacles so again i feel that for some of you guys you could have been dealing with circumstances and when i say circumstances it could have been a relationship that was a rather deep type of connection but circumstances happened it could have been a family dynamic it could have been that it felt like life was taking both of you guys on two separate wavelengths or two separate paths but ultimately it's almost coming back around it's like it's like a cycle and that cycle is not concluding yet until both your paths cross once again so again if you're trying to put effort now is the time to do so libra the ten of cups emotional fulfillment happiness wanting uh to reconnect and make it right uh you have two tens here so again it, it's a culmination of situations that have happened for some of you guys this could have been something you've been struggling with for a year others of you it could have been four years ago um but ultimately what they're saying is that there is a conclusion that's happening here and with this conclusion both your paths are coming or crossing again to be able to move to be able to take flight again in this connection and make it right you can see two people in one boat. It's like both of you guys being able to get on the same page and decide where do we go from here and ultimately have one destination, okay? So I hope this gives you guys some type of insight, understanding, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.